Hey, what is up guys? I see here and welcome back to another video guys. So anyways, before we get into this video, according to YouTube analytics, 83.9% of you guys haven't subscribed. So consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. So yeah, you can always change your mind later. Anyways, let's get into the video. So today I'm gonna compare like Hive regions, Hive Skyward regions, most likely. And before I compare these Hive regions, I would like to say that this is purely my opinion. Hard or easy a match or a region, you know, <laughs> depends on how you play on your match. <coughs> so, I'm gonna rate these regions based on three aspects, which is first, how often you see hackers in a match, second, how hard it is to win a match and third how many pro players play on the game so i'm gonna rate these aspects from a scale one to five and sum it up so we can see which region is the hardest which one is the best and which one is the easiest sometimes it's pretty often to see hackers on high skyers in asia region most of the time some use like no kb and there's like kill aura and some of them can fly and even do that fast bridge that none of you guys can do. Should say that the rate for how often you can see hackers on Hive issue is about 4 out of 5 because not gonna lie, I can see hackers in 3 to 5 matches. You know, it's pretty often. So, is it hard to win a game on Hive Asia? Well, some of you guys will say yes and some of you guys will say no. It actually depends on how good you play on the game. But in my opinion, winning a Hive Scouts game in Asia region is kinda hard. It took me 3 to 4 matches sometimes to win a single game, but it's still not so hard to win a game on Hive Asia though, so don't worry. The people on Asia region are pretty decent, and when the warm up is done, some of them choose to jump to your island pretty quickly, and some of them can just sprawl or jump bridge to the middle to get good gears, which is, you know, good strategy. Also, getting kills on Hive Asia region is not that easy. Well, it could be easy if you're that pro genius, effortlessly prodigy guy who can easily kill them. It can barely get 5 to 6 kills in Asia region. Um, most of the time, I always get either one or four kilos on Asia region. Actually, maybe it's because I'm slow, so yeah, I'm bad. So I rate this a four out of five. Moving on and how often do you see pro players or these high level people on the Asia region, such as, you know, level 30 to 40? Uh, well, I see them pretty often and sometimes I could have a match with three to five level 40 players so with that being said i will rate this five out of five so moving on to north american region from what i see i barely see hackers on na region well maybe there are hackers but i just barely face them on the match i can't say too much about this because i don't really know but let's ask some people who play on north american region so yeah According to that, so should say that I would rate this 2 out of 5. Is winning a game on NA region hard? I would say no, because most players on NA region don't know how to play and most of them prefer to just camp on their island, mining ores, get gears, instead of jumping from the island and clapping people. People on NA region are a bit slow, so the game is kind of slow paced instead of fast. You can even have time managing your inventory for long in your island though. Getting kills on NA region is also pretty easy. I can get like 6 kills normally in NA region and maybe some of you guys can even get 10 to 11 kills there. So I would rate this 3 out of 5 because sometimes when you see a high level player, not gonna lie, they are actually pretty good. So does NA region have a lot of pro players? Well, I should say sometimes they have and sometimes they're not. Players who play there are players below level 20 or 10. So with that being said, I would rate this 3 out of 5. Now, Europe region. Now, before I get into the clips, I just want to say that the gameplay gotta be a bit choppy because it's, you know, Europe region and I'm in Asia. So yeah, I hope you guys are not bothered with that. Anyways, moving on to how often do we see hackers in Europe region? Well, from what I analyze from the game itself, I barely see hackers there. And according to some people that I asked, they really said that there's less hackers there, which is pretty good. And you can fairly play without worrying someone gonna hit you with this weird reach. So I would rate this to out of five so now does winning a match on the euro region hard well according to few games that i played i should say it's pretty hard people on euro region are mostly below level 10 you can't underestimate them because they are pretty smart they even know how to dodge trap and even use these kind of projectiles such as snowball and bow to annoy you it's pretty hard to win there 
You just have to be smart, you know, high IQ when playing and good strats while playing. They are not as fast as people in high HU region. It's more like normal pace. So I really like it. Pretty much you can still chill on your island when the game starts. So it's more like a high HU game, but the people there are chill and less competitive, but they are actually good. Maybe it's because most YouTubers like Soup or JD play on Asia region, which makes Asia region a lot more competitive. So even a level 2 or 1 can be better than you on Europe region. So with that being said, I would rate this 5 out of 5. Now, this Europe region has a lot of pro players or players above level 30 there. Well, I should say no, maybe there is. But every time I play there, I only see less of them. As I said before, most of the time, players who play there are players below level 10. So I would rate this 3 out of 5. So now let's sum the scores up. With high issue region, with the highest score, 4 plus 4 plus 5, which is 13 points. High Europe goes second, 10 points. Hive and A goes third, eight points. So from the scores we achieve, I would say Hive Asia is the hardest one because you know they have hackers and it's pretty hard to win a game there. And Hive and A as the easiest one, and lastly, Hive Europe as the best region to play on because it's less hackers, it's less competitive, but still hard makes it fun. So comment down below and let me know what do you guys think about this. Which region is the hardest and which one is the easiest? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.